um, basically every vocal, no matter what you do, is going to need these effects. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to start off by saying that every vocal is going to need these effects. And just so you can hear like the difference in what these effects do, I'm going to just break them down to you real clearly and just teach you how to use everything because I'm tired of watching all these tutorials not teaching you a goddamn thing. So, all right, so let's start by playing it. I've been rapping for so long, man, I'm trying to get a deal, man. You can't even hear that. You can't even hear that. First and foremost, you can't even hear that. Why you cannot hear that is because you need a you need a maximizer. And just just so you know what a maximizer does is, just think about it like this. You got a threshold, which when you play your vocals... I've been rapping for so long, man, I'm trying to get a deal Man, I know that I'm the best, but it's not about the skills About the people that I know, everybody getting killed I'm just trying to get the money, trying to It basically raises your vocals as loud as you need them to And then it just stops, it's like a, it's like a limiter That's what it is, it's a limiter It ain't nothing more, it ain't nothing less It's just literally, it's just a goddamn limiter Alright, so, limiter Bam, there you go, limited, bam. All right, sample delay. Put your sample delay at 707 samples. Put that on to the right or to the left, depending on how you feel. But I put it on 707, and I play it out. Yeah, I've been rapping for so long, and I'm trying to get it down. And now you got that stereo. Now you got that stereo. Now you got two channels instead of one. Now you got a bigger signal instead of having to make a bus, make another bus, splitting the signal, taking one pitch, detuning it, negative one, that one, detuning it, negative that one. No, you just create a sample delay. That's all you need for your stereo imaging is a sample delay. You could play around with this and give it a doubler effect. All this does is think about it as taking the audio wave, splitting it in half, Putting half to one headphone, half to the other. Stereo, right? So just think about it. if you made one of them slower by 700 samples, now you get this wider vocal. All right, so that's what that do. So put that on 707. Look, look, just do what I'm telling you to do. Don't, don't try no other stuff. If you know what you're doing, go ahead. But for now, just do what I'm telling you to do. 707 samples. Then you go ahead. Take a compressor. Any compressor. I use Waves. Because I'm fancy, and I like fancy shit. It looks good, it sounds good, it acts good. It's a little bit on the noisy side, but hey, this is a house party mixtape I'm doing, and I wanted to have that vintage sound, so I'm trying to imitate vintage compressors, and I don't want to sound the clean, I want to sound the dirty. So I'm going to use this, and I'm going to compress the hell out of these vocals. I'm going to have it on 7, release attack on 1, 12, you know, 30. And basically just do it like that, and just keep the settings with compressor, all you doing is making your vocals as loud as possible without it sounding nasty and distorted. So now let's hear it with the uh, compressor on. Yeah, I've been rapping for so long, man. I'm trying to get a deal, man. I know that I'm the best, but it's not about the skill. About the people that I know. Everybody getting killed. I'm just trying to get this money, trying to get a hundred mil. All the strippers that I know keep on stripping, pay your bills. Gotta do what's best for you, and don't worry about how they feel. Don't worry that master pill. Take money to pay your bills. Now, that's that's natural. That's what you want. You want your vocal sound to natural. You want your vocal sound to clean, expand it. Stereo, you want your vocals sounding exactly how you rap them. That is what you call a dry vocal. That is dry. That is dry. Now, you add the EQ on there. EQ, don't look at my EQ. Don't copy my EQ. Don't imitate my EQ because every EQ is different for the man's vocals. All right, but what I tell you this is always cut out them low frequencies that make your mix muddy and always raise between 2K and 5K slightly because that's where, like, your human vocals sit at unless you're, like, a dog or a cat or some shit and you need to raise other frequencies, but I doubt you need to do it in for vocals. For some reason, if you analyze this... Jealousy is a bitch. Hey, that's probably a sis. They hate it, they in my shits, but don't got what it takes to make it. For some strange damn reason... No matter how good this mic is, all my vocals, they cut out, they're lacking on this frequency. 
they're lacking between two five and you know two and five k and ten k. So I, I just raised it up where it's lacking that, and I just slightly put that under the mix, and it, it just it gives it more of a stand out. So that way your vocals don't sit behind the mix, and it gives you more of a in your face rap type of feel. Yeah, I've been rapping for so long, man, I'm trying to get a deal Man, I know that I'm the best, but it's not about the skill About the people that I know, everybody getting killed I'm just trying to get this money, trying to get a hundred mils Y'all the strippers that I know, keep on stripping, pay your bills Gotta do what's best for you and don't worry about how they feel Don't worry, that mess appeal, take money to pay your bills Cause jealousy is a bitch, hey, that's probably So now you need some, uh, you need some, uh, reverb You know what I'm saying, just use space deliner you would probably go to small places, plate reverbs, use a vocal plate, and then mess around with the amount of reverb you got. And after you got that, you should be okay. Everything should be good and stuff like that. And basically, you put that on the vocal to make it sound like this. Yeah, I've been rapping for so long, man, I'm trying to get a deal, man, I know that I'm the best, but it's not about the skills, about the people that I know, everybody getting killed, I'm just trying to get this money, trying to get a hundred mils, y'all the strippers that I know, keep on stripping pay. And the last night, least you want to put a limit on there, just so you make sure that you ain't got nothing going crazy, like, you know how you got them one peaks that just, a vocal said too loud, something said too hard, just... Something clipping, anything like that. Put a limiter on it to make sure all your vocals are compressed. The limiter is nothing but a hardcore compressor. So basically, compress the shit out the overall vocal after you got all your effects on it. Compress the hell out of it. Yeah, I've been rapping for so long, man. I'm trying to get a deal, man. I know that I'm the best. Right, so you pretty much got that down packed. And after that, you might want to send it to a bus, put some uh, tape delay on it. You know. Put some tape delay on it. Go crazy like that. And after you have your tape delay and stuff like that on it, just go ahead and show how it look. Best, but it's not about the skill, about the people that I know. Everybody getting killed. I'm just trying to get this money, trying to get a hundred mils. Y'all the strippers that I know. Keep on stripping. So then, after you got that. I like to call this trick stereolizing. You know what I'm saying? I like to call it stereolizing. So you take your sample delay, you send it to a bus, sample delay. Yeah, I've been rapping for so long, man. I'm trying to get a deal, man. I know that I'm you the best. Put it some freaky setting like this. Put it in a 1200, 1700, and then turn it up so you can hear that sound. Best, but it's not about the skills, about the people that I know. Everybody getting killed, I'm just trying to get this money, trying to get a hundred mils. Y'all the strippers that I know, keep on stripping, pay your bills, gotta do what's best for you and don't worry about how they feel. Don't worry, the mess appeal, take money to pay your bills, cause jealousy is... Right, so that's how you, that's how you get the vocal sounding good. That should take you 20 minutes to record it, take you 10 minutes to... Edit it, five minutes to mix it, 40 minutes at the most, no longer than that. All right, so then after you come from that, you might want to go down some. And you might want to you might want to start some automation. All right, so what you'll do is you'll get a filter, one knob filter, which is my ish. I love the one knob filter because it's one knob. Like, you don't need too many knobs. Like, you only need one for a filter. Alright, so I take the one knob filter and I play it on my rap to make your song sound better like this. Make money to pay your bills, cause jealousy is a bitch. They didn't probably assist. They had it, they in my shits, but don't got what it takes to make it. I'm running, I'm so impatient, no sicker than 20 patients. Work harder than immigrations. I'm black, I mean a plantation vacation. I never heard of beef and they want a burger. I'm big and they yelling murder. They pussy, I bet they squirted. The early bird get the worm. Worms, the lesser equal. I'm flying, busy soaring. I'm soaring just like an eagle. Niggas, they busy yelling the foreign, but pushing beetles. And shorty, big thick as fuck. Squad. Right, so, peep it. That's the feeling 
a filter gives to the song. It adds so much energy and it adds so much heart, soul, and everything you need just to make it come out decent and just to make it come out better. So your filter ties together that link between your song and that. And um, basically, another thing that I'll say is on Logic, I don't know who the fuck made this shit, but like, I even have a sample delay on the beat. Put that on 101 samples, and I even have an EQ on the instrumental, just so that way the beat sounds better. I'm going to solo this shitty ass beat and play it to you without no effects. And then tell me if you guys hear the difference. If you don't, I'll go make a whole other video just to explain to y'all. adds more feeling and it makes your vocal seem like you was really there all right so here's another thing i'm going to show y'all on the real quicks now everybody wants to be t-pain or uh, august alcina everybody wants to sing everybody wants to sing everybody tries to sing you know how do you sing that's not with this video effect this video is about how to trick people into making you think you can sing So right here, first and foremost, let's solo this. Let's get straight to the damn music. All right, so look. All right, so first and foremost, it's the same thing. But I got pitch correction right here. Depending on your voice, I'm going to give you a great scale. You C, D, E, G, A. It's called major pentonic. Look it up. Set the respawn down to fast, zero milliseconds. Keep it on normal and keep everything the same. Don't touch nothing. Don't try nothing new. Those are the only settings that's going to work to get some true T-Pain. Just so you know, you know what? I'm just going to give you all a quick sample and show you all how bad this was before these effects hit it. Wait. Wait for. Wait for. See what the auto tune do? It's just that simple. Alright, so you put the pitch correction right after your maximize, your limiter in that order. The first thing you want is delay. You know that tape delay? Wait. So you want that echo sound there. Alright. Guess what? Sample delay, sample delays, some more sample delay. Some um, reverb and some tape delay. So that's just more echo. It's more echo and more reverb. What? To give it more of a serious sounding. Just to cover up the fact that I can't sing. What? And that's pedal board. Wait for, wait for me. So now you got so now you got pedal board. Now it's another pedal board. That's how you get that auto tune sound. Alright? So then you gotta sit in the mix like that. Alright, so I know you guys are wondering how did I get this talk box in here? You know? Alright, so what you do is, you create a new instrument. Alright, you click that little arrow, software instrument, and then click, click that EVOC20 PC vocoder synth, and then this should pop up. What you do is, you click clear vocoder, make sure this is on vocal, 
focal, and then side chain, and then click the one you want it. Click the one you want it, right? So click the one you want. Simple as that. Click the vocal you want to mess with. Then what you do is you press Command K, and then musical type and pop up, and then you play the notes you want to vocal. And so basically, you play the notes, and then when you put them together, you should get it. It should come out like. What? What for? What for me? Yeah. What for me? Yeah, I want to be loved. Yeah, I want to be the point of putting the vocoder behind auto tune well for one it helps your shit sit way better in the mix and it makes everything sound better plus it's production value everyone uses vocoders and auto tunes and synths distortion but this is the quick way to mix a song and have everything sounding good without little to no money and you ain't even got to send it to get tracked out but what i will tell you to do is record mix and master everything yourself and then just have it go get tracked out all right